The second place we use production for the rabbits is over this worm bin, which is, was an old tub. Uh, next to it we have two compost piles that we put excess material that's generated from the rabbits production into. We also collect compost from the four other apartments, all four apartments in the apartment building, and we use that to feed the worms that, are, that ex live in this tub here. Uh, during the summertime, we use chaw bells, and we put them two here on this end, and two more on this end here, and we stretch across that a metal fence post, and then we lay the rabbits, carriers, and uh, cages on top of that. And then the uh, manure goes directly into the uh, worm area and continues to grow the worms that way. And again, any excess is put into the compost pile. The uh, next step in the winter time, what we do is we move around and we put the uh, rabbits into the greenhouse. Now this greenhouse is 10 foot by 20 foot and uh, once we had this facility we were able to keep the rabbits inside out of the weather during the winter time when it's very windy and rainy here in uh, Gold Beach, Oregon on the Pacific Northwest Coast. So what we have here is we have the rabbits hanging in cages above, right now we have approximately uh, 24 inches of uh, soil and uh, straw built up and what builds that up is the rabbit manure that drops from these rabbits when they're here during the winter time and the ducks also play their role and uh, eating any worms that come out of the uh, straw and uh, aerating the straw somewhat as well as providing their manure to also enrich the soil. So I get urine from both the rabbits and the ducks and that helps uh, fertilize the soil and helps it break down and also compost it. So I'm composting in place here and what goes on is there's a lot of heat generated from this compost. Uh, I've been doing this now for two years since we uh, purchased this property and we've uh, We've generated, like I said, about 24 inches of uh, soil so far. We grew tomatoes and peppers in this greenhouse last summer from the, basically the same system, but now we're about twice as high as we were then. We started out with just straw bales laid straight across the bottom to initially catch the uh, manure and the uh, waste. And then every morning we come in and we lay a fresh layer of straw down onto the uh, base to cover up the previous day's manure. And uh, prior to that, we watered in with a hose so that we constantly keep the compost alive. Compost uh, is a living thing. The back microbes uh, need water, so you want to keep it like a, a damp sponge, not wringing wet. We have had tremendous amount of rain this week, uh, upwards of over 10 inches this week. So I'm a little, have a little wet floor in here. Uh, but as you can see, these are my rabbits. I have uh, two mating, uh, two does, and one buck. And then the rest are for uh, sales and for meat production. And then on the uh, ducks, I have uh, three ducks. And uh, they are uh, giving me three eggs a day right now. Uh, last uh, three months of last year, I got 353 eggs from, uh, from them. And they're continuing to lay three eggs a day pretty much consistently since, since uh, the beginning of the year as well. I don't think I've even had a two-egg day this year yet. So uh, that works pretty good. Over here at the end is where their water and uh, comes into the greenhouse. Now this is fed from a, wa a water barrel that is fed from the roof of the uh, uh, building. So that is all fed and then it drains out through that hose and then drains into right now out and to uh, be able to water plants and I can also move that around. So uh, during the uh, drier parts of the week or uh, month, I move them outside and then they get to go into a pen that's, uh, there's the water barrel coming out with an extra water barrel and this is the rabbit mower. So I move this around uh, daily when they're out here and they're constantly mowing the grass and doing their uh, fertilizing job here as well. So overall it works uh, very well. There's future plans to recycle the water that's in there and also to dig another pond and uh, create even more of an aquaculture system. And uh, this rain barrel here, I actually do have uh, live 
goldfish in it, they keep the mosquitoes down and they eat algae and a pretty much extensive system here as well. And then I grow duckweed as well and I feed the ducks and the uh, goldfish the duckweed. So uh, hopefully I can improve on the system. Uh, currently this is uh, uh, two years into the system and I'm still learning quite a bit.